This is another example of using the double angle formula, and I'm going to do this with that calculator as I have done with all the previous videos on this. So I've got an equation here, I've got an expression here, and it's equal to this. And I've got to show how I go from here to here. So a quick scan, I've got two, two theta here, but I've not got any two thetas in the other one. I've got the minus five there, got plus two and plus three there. So I want to get rid of this one here. So this is the thing I want to get rid of. And if I look here, here's my formula. I don't want to use this because in the example here, I've got no sine squared thetas. I also don't want to use this because of the same reason. So I'm going to use the middle one here. So I'm going to replace cosine 2 theta with this. So it's very, very straightforward, this one. Once I've identified what I'm going to do, cosine squared 2 theta minus 1 is replaced there, minus 5 cos theta plus 3. And then if you look at this, I've got 2 cos squared theta, yes. I've got the minus 5 squared theta, yes. I've got minus 1 and plus 3 giving me plus 2. So just quick, I could just turn that into the expression there. Save time, I'm not going to do this on the video, it's almost done. So B, hence solve. Now again, the trigger word is hence. We're solving the first, this equation, but we're actually going to use this. And the reason I'm using this is it's a quadratic equation. So 2 cos squared theta minus 5 cos theta plus 2 equals 0. This one will factorise. It becomes 2 cos theta minus 1 and cos theta minus 2. I've got limits between 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to look at the first one. This one becomes cosine theta equals a half from the first bracket and from that theta 60 degrees or pi over 3 and that's from the first quadrant and in the last quadrant it becomes 5 pi over 3. Then we've also got this one here which has cosine theta equals 2. Well cos the cosine graph only goes between minus 1 and 1 so for this one there are no solutions. And I'm just going to jot that down just so that the examiner knows that I'm, I've thought about this bracket. So this is the second part of using the double angle um, identity.